Hi all, welcome to RPA Field. In this session, I'll give you an overview on Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. We will see how to install Power Automate Desktop, creating and running our first flow. So Power Automate Desktop is an application that allow us to automate repetitive, rule-based and boring tasks. We can also call it an uh, RPA tool from Microsoft. Let's have a look on how to download Power Automate. So Power Automate is already available for Windows 10 and Windows 11 users. For Windows 11 user, it comes pre-installed. But for Windows 10 users, you can get it at no additional cost. You can visit this link and the setup file will be downloaded on your machine. I'll mention this URL in the description below. Or else you can go to docs.microsoft.com and directly click on this link. Double click on the setup file to start the installation. Now hit the next button to install the packages. The packages that are going to be installed includes Microsoft Edge Web Driver and Chrome Driver. You may check or uncheck these installation options depending on your preferences. I will leave them as is. At last, check the terms of checkbox and hit the install button to begin your installation. So the installation have started. You can see the progress tracker bar at the top. It is installing the packages that we had selected in the previous window. And the installation will be completed in a while. So now we can see the installation is successful. We can enable the extensions for Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome and then we can restart the machine. So the version 2.2 is one which we have installed. So let me go to the desktop and click on the Power Automate um, and then we can we are presented with a screen where we can enter our email addresses. It, it need not to be a Microsoft uh, email address. It can be your Gmail. I have just verifying my email address over here by entering the code and we are logged into Power Automate for desktop. So here we can choose the region uh, for like United States or any, any uh, country which is applicable for you. I'll keep it by default United States and click on get started. Once we click on get started, we are presented with uh, this is the, for the first time when we start, we get this pop up, we can, we can ignore those. And we are presented with the flow view. Uh, so this is a default flow view. We do not have any flow uh, as of now. So that's why it's blank. So let's create a flow named hello world. So this, this will be our first flow. So let's edit this flow. Hello world. So this is our first bot. We can say if you're coming from automation anywhere background. So we can say we can call this uh, our bot file. So I'll give you the overview of all the actions and the the, the interface, uh, the all the uh, various interfaces, panels. We'll cover them in another session. But yeah, for now, let's uh, build a basic flow which will display a message box. So search for message box in the um, action and you get a display message method or action. We drag and drop that and we have these options like we can enter the title of the message box and then we can have the message that we are going to display. So welcome to Power Automate Desktop. That's the message. Let's display that. And then we have various options like message box icon if you want to keep icon and if you want to have the button like OK cancel, yes, no type of button. Let's keep it default for now. And then we have default button, first button, second button. You have a tooltip option as well. Uh, here you can hover over those tooltip to know more about those options. Keep message box always on top. You can enable that if you want. 
if you want to close your message box immediately or after some seconds you can specify that as well we'll we'll keep them disabled for now and then we have on error action in case you want to do error handling you can use this section let's not go into those now so let's save this and this is our first flow you can save this and run this flow once you run this flow we'll get a pop up which says welcome to power automate desktop so that's all guys that was that was the first flow that we created in power automate desktop hope you enjoy this video in case you do please give it a like share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel